I'm Esther. Uh, I'm the embryologist from TMC Fertility. So today I'm going to bring you all to have a tour in our embryology lab. Let's go. This is the first station that we usually prepare the dishes for the next day for the embryo culture and also for the other procedure. So this is the station for the medium preparation. The next station, this station is actually for the inside freezing and also the embryo freezing. After the freezing procedure, usually we will store the embryos and the inside into our cryo storage, which is the next door. Okay. So usually for each procedure of the oocyte freezing, it takes about 12 minutes to 15 minutes. So after the procedure done, then we will dip the embryos or the oocyte into the liquid nitrogen. Then only we will store them in the cryo storage room. And this is our time-lapse machine, which after the ICSI procedure or the insemination procedure, then we will culture our embryos for up to about 6 days in this incubator. Yeah, so every 10 minutes, actually, the incubator, they have a, a camera. So they will take the uh, photo of the embryos. So it will form a time-lapse video. Yeah, so by uh, day 5 or day 6, usually we will have one uh, complete video of the embryos development for our patient. Okay, so for this station, it's for us to perform the um, towing procedure. Okay, so usually we will take the embryos, the frozen embryos from our cryo storage room and then we will move here and then we will perform our towing procedure then afterward only we go for the frozen embryo transfer and this is our ICSI chamber I think we are the only fertility center we own the IVF isolator yeah so we perform our ICSI procedure in an enclosed system and everything is under control for the uh, temperature of the medium and also for the pH of the medium yeah, everything is under control because we have a uh, gas control, everything. So this is also an IVF chamber that we will prepare our frozen embryo transfer over here. We will load our embryos inside the chamber. Then we will bring it to the OT for the embryo transfer procedure. Yeah, so and here is the TV, the television that we can uh, we allow the patient to see their embryos before the transfer procedure. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look of our cryo storage room. Usually after the freezing procedure for the embryos and the oocytes, we will store our sample in the dewa. Okay, so this is the dewa, which uh, inside can fit a uh, numerous number of the embryos and oocytes. Okay, and also inside fill up with a certain level of the liquid nitrogen, which is a negative 196 degrees Celsius. Okay, so uh, this is to store our embryos and uh, oocytes. So for the vitrification process, our oocytes and the embryo need to be stored uh, at the temperature of a negative 196 degrees Celsius of liquid nitrogen. This is the device that we place our embryo here and we call it as a cryotop. Uh, during the freezing procedure, we will place our embryo at the tip of the device and then we cap it inside and we place inside the liquid nitrogen yeah, to complete the uh, vitrification process. Okay, so afterward, we will put the straw and together with the VC tube inside the dewa. Okay, so here is our andrology lab. So we will receive the sample from our patient from this hatch. So after we receive the sample, we will assess the sperm quality at this uh, station. Okay, so uh, after the assessment, then we will go for the sperm preparation. So after that, only we can use the sample for the ICSI procedure and also the insemination procedure. 